Moments of Inspiration Brought to you by the Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago It is our prayer that this outreach program inspires you to start this new day with Almighty God Who has granted you the gift of today Good morning everyone And welcome to this week's episode of Moments of Inspiration I am Nola Ram Logan Elder and Secretary of the Susumata Presbyterian Church in San Fernando and I'm so pleased to be sharing in worship with you today. Within the Presbyterian Church and us here at Moments of Inspiration, the month of September is dedicated towards stewardship. Our time, talents, treasure and ourselves through testimony. So far, we have looked at the concept of stewardship from a biblical perspective, the famous parable of the talents and also the parable of the dishonest steward. Today, as we reflect on our celebration of Republic Day in our nation, we shift our focus now to our call to be stewards of this earth that we live on and also stewards of our nation. Let us pray. Almighty God, Great thou art and greatly to be praised. We bow in your holy presence as we gather right now wherever we are to worship you this day. Be with us in our songs of praise when holy scripture is read and your word proclaimed so that lives will be touched and will come to know what a mighty God we serve. Help us to know your will for us as we strive to become worthy stewards of this beautiful land of Trinidad and Tobago. This we pray through Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning, we are blessed to have with us a very talented young man named Kavish Sitahal. Kavish currently attends the Warrenville Presbyterian Church and he is a singer-songwriter who has just graduated from Hillsong College in Sydney, Australia. He starts us off now with an original piece entitled Anchor. Even when the thunder roars, my hope is secure in you, and I will stand on solid ground. Your love will not be shaken or be moved, and although my feet may fail, your love will catch me still. I know you never fail. Cause you are my rock in the storm, my hope in the dark, I'm never alone. Jesus, my anchor, you are, you are my anchor. my eyes on you and I will walk on roaring waves knowing you've called me out to you and although my feet may fail your love will catch me still I know you never fail cause you are my rock in the storm my hope in the dark I'm never alone Jesus my anchor you are you are my anchor You are my rock in the storm, my 
out in the dark, I'm never alone. Jesus, my anchor, you are, you are my anchor. Jesus, my anchor, you are, you are my anchor. Thank you very much, Kavish, for that wonderful song of praise today. We read now from Holy Scripture as it comes to us from Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 31. Let us listen. To God's word. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him male and female created he them and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth and God said behold I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was a very good, and the evening and the morning were the sixth day. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God for his word. My dear friends, there are two major themes which weave their way through the scriptures. There is the way to God and the walk with God. Today's message is about our walk with God, about the management, the stewardship of all that God has placed at our disposal. The dictionary tells us that stewardship is the responsibility of managing something that is not our own. The key word being manager. The first principle of stewardship is this, God owns everything. As we have reminded you every week for this month, this is our Father's world. He owns it, everything. We believe in God Almighty, maker and owner of heaven and earth. He created everything. As God's children, we must understand that we are made to manage what God owns. Martin Luther in his small catechism says, I believe that God has made me and all creatures. He has given me my body and soul, eyes, ears, all my members, my reason and all my senses and takes care of them. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15, the Lord God took man and placed him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Therefore, we who have been created in the image of God are to act as caretakers of his world. One writer says that human beings must exercise stewardship over the natural world, so we do not erase marks of the designer. We who have been created in the image of God are not new owners to do whatever we want with this world we are blessed with but we must take care of creation. Therefore, when we abuse God's creation, slash and burn and destroy, we grieve God. John Calvin wrote, let him 
who possesses a field partake of its yearly fruits, not allowing the ground to suffer injury by negligence. Let everyone regard himself as a steward of God in all things which he possesses. Brothers and sisters, the resources of earth, and that includes our land as well, are abundant but not inexhaustible. God the creator of heaven and earth and Trinidad and Tobago has provided us with a land which in its natural state was pure and undefiled. Yet greed, selfishness, callousness by many who claim to love our country, these actions have led to desecration and contamination of our natural resources, our seas, land and air. As we celebrate 41 years of stewardship of this our motherland, are the things the same? Have we erased the marks of the Creator? Natural forests which proclaim the majesty of our Creator, the sugarcane, the coffee and the cocoa, the citrus fields, the coconut plantations, the paddy fields have been destroyed. Thousands of acres of these crops, especially when inappropriately planted, depriving the landscape of the natural protection the roots of trees and plants provide. Every dry season, we know that our lands become scarred and charred by the hundreds of bushfires caused by carelessness with cigarettes, illegal fires and improper waste disposal. The barrenness and scant appearances in some parts of Trinidad and Tobago make our land look ugly, aesthetically ugly. Have we lived up to this sacred task that we have been entrusted to by Almighty God to be stewards that serve and preserve? Many species of our animals and birds have been pushed to virtual extinction. Even our national bird, the scarlet ibis, has fallen prey to our selfish desires to hunt, kill and destroy. We are stewards of this beautiful land. God gave this beautiful land of Trinidad and Tobago to us. Yet the economic, economic wealth that is pursued or has been pursued has resulted in flooding across the nation and landslides that can block off entire communities from the rest of the world. These have been compounded by a pollution of the waterways, rivers, streams, ponds and seas. The work of some men and women, us who pledge year after year on days like Republic Day to love Trinidad and Tobago. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been called to be stewards of our nation, our land, the seas, the rivers, the people. Yet, on a daily basis, toxic waste is emitted into the air and water courses with horrendous effects on rivers and marine life. And worse yet, our nation flows with the blood of so many people who lose their lives on a daily basis in terrifying ways. But my dear viewers, there is always hope that is found in Jesus Christ, who shines like a light in the midst of all this darkness. Even as we receive and embrace this call for us to have dominion and be faithful, worthy stewards of this vast thing called creation, God has also equipped us with the talents that we need. Our human resources are also abundantly available in our communities, our homes, our churches. When we are called to be stewards of our nation, we must use all of our God-given time, talent and treasure to work toward this goal of caring for creation. This is our land. God loaned us this land. As worthy stewards, let us keep our resources as we found them and they would serve us better. We were created and put on earth to be managers of everything God has given us. God owns it all. We use what belongs to God, when we live according to God's will, we find meaning, purpose, and joy in life. But it must not come at the expense of God's beloved creation. God gave us this place in creation in which we live. Let us love our country, Trinidad and Tobago. Let us strive 
to be wise managers of God's creation. God gets great pleasure in watching us faithfully and wisely manage and enjoy the things he has placed in our hands. And that includes our country, Trinidad and Tobago. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We invite Mr. Kavish Sitahal once more as he shares another original piece with us. This song is called Crimson Love. To Calvary When my Savior dragged a rugged cross Wood drenched in blood and tears that rugged cross Heaven treasures filled his precious blood From scarlet hands gripping nails Jesus, Son of God, gave up his throne and chose the cross And oh, what love is this that traded heaven to pour out crimson love Traded heaven to pour out crimson love. As he breathed last, all of heaven wept for Christ my King. Saving grace, it is done, the wretched too. Try to steal salvation's gift away. But the power of heaven rolled the stone. Jesus, the Son of God, is seated on the throne. For he is risen. Oh, what love is this that traded heaven to pour out crimson love? Crimson love And so what love is this That traded heaven To pour out crimson love And so what love is this That traded heaven To pour out crimson love The earth stained in red Resurrection blood spilt into the grave Conquered death, where is your sting? He comes again The bolts release from every single chain And every knee will bow and bend to Jesus Son of God holding the Scar hands. Oh, what love is this that traded heaven to pour out crimson love? And oh, what love is this that traded heaven to pour out crimson love? Traded heaven to pour out crimson love. Oh, what love is this that traded heaven to pour out crimson love? Thank you very much, Kavish, for that powerful message of Christ's love that was poured out for all of us and God's creation. When we pray, we not only pray for ourselves, but we pray for all persons who require intercession. 
I invite you to bow with me together in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for our beautiful country, Trinidad and Tobago, this blessed land that you have graciously provided to be our home. We thank you for all who inhabit this land, for their love for their country and for their fellow men. May we always be kind to our land, to be worthy of the gift you have entrusted to us, to be ever mindful that Trinidad and Tobago belongs to you and we are just stewards. May we always love our land even as Jesus loves us and be worthy and proud to be called its citizens. We pray for all those who have been victims of natural disasters around the world. Flooding, hurricanes, fires and earthquakes. And for all who have been victims of man-made disasters, wars, discrimination, murder, human trafficking and gender-based violence. May your comforting spirit rest upon us all. And we ask that you use us to be your stewards, your ambassadors in this world, so that there will be peace and justice for humankind and creation. Hear this, our prayer. Amen. The Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago is involved in many activities to share the gospel and engage in mission for our men, women, youth, and children. I now invite Ms. Sunara Duwe Suku to share with us. A very blessed morning to all our viewers. There are so many wonderful activities happening in our community that I am elated to share with you this morning. The Board of Men will be hosting its annual Family Fun Day on Monday, 25th September 2017 at the Presal Recreation Ground, also known as the Polo Ground. Come with your families, churches and schools for a day of fun and fellowship. Our tertiary institution, St. Andrew's Theological College, is launching its inaugural golf tournament on October 14th at the Petrochen PAP Golf Club. The college is seeking your support in this venture as they raise funds for their building projects. You can contact the college at 657-7554 to find out one of the many ways you can get involved. I'd also like to encourage you to join us on October 1st, 2017 at any of our Presbyterian churches throughout the country as we celebrate World Communion Sunday. On this day, we will form part of the world's reformed church family uniting to break bread together as we remember that we are all part of the body of Christ and are welcome to his table. We hope you can join a congregation on this Sunday and be a part of this celebration and remembrance. Thank you all for listening and back to you now, Miss Nola. Thank you very much, Sonara, for sharing that information with us today. We invite Mr. Kavish Sitahal to bless us now with a cover by Hillsong, a song entitled, Let There Be Light. Embracing the poor, comfort for all those who mourn, for the broken hearted. We sing louder, release from prison and shame, oppression turning to praise for every captive. We sing louder, restoring sight to the blind, breaking the curse of the night. For all in darkness We sing louder Proclaiming freedom for all This is the day of the Lord Beautiful rashes Let there be light Open the eyes of the blind Purify our hearts in your fire 
Jesus, have your way. Jesus, have your way. Jesus, have your way. Jesus, have your way. Thank you very much, Kavish, for sharing your gifts in voice, guitar, and songwriting. We pray God will continue to guide you in the paths you should walk as a musician and child of God. Friends, we have reached the end of our program today. We thank you all for joining in this time of devotion over this past month as we reflected on what it means for us to be stewards in this time and place. I take this opportunity to invite you to join us in worship every Sunday morning at any Presbyterian church near your home. If you have missed any previous episodes of Moments of Inspiration, you can find them on our YouTube channel, Presbyterian Church Trinidad and Tobago. And for any further information about the Presbyterian Church, please contact us via our website, www.pctt.org.tt. I also want to invite you to follow us on our Facebook page for information on upcoming episodes or just to show your support. I leave you now with today's moment of inspiration. We who are created in the image of God must be caretakers of God's world. A happy and blessed Republic Day to you.